What's up guys, welcome back to the Anti-Gravity Room. Today I am opening Marvel Legends Mockingbird from the Marvel Legends Captain America Infinite Series line. She is also a member of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. part of the line. And she comes with the center onslaught piece. Let's take a look at the back of the box for you guys really quick. Okay, and here is the back of the box. I've already read that blurb in a previous video. It's the same fucking thing. Just watch our, watch our other videos. <laughs> Marvel Mockingbird and Sharon Carter on the back there. And there's the lineup right there. Captain America, Mockingbird, Sharon Carter, Whirlwind, Copperhead, Scourge, and Taskmaster with the Build-A-Figure Onslaught. And there's the piece numbers. Feel free to just pause that video. Let's get this thing cracked open. And there is Mockingbird Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. right out of the box. Um, one thing I noticed right away, I don't, I don't know if, like, again, I don't watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below um, if, if I'm wrong. But I feel like this is just like a ripoff of the character Canary. And I feel like Canary, like, I know the TV shows are, are both new. But I mean, like, I feel like Canary has been around for a lot longer. Like, I've known about Canary in the comics for, for quite a long time. And I feel like this is the exact same fucking character. It's even got a weird fucking bird name. So I don't know who came first here. But anyways, let's take a closer look at the figure. Um, it's okay. Um, it's okay. I'm like all female characters. I, it took me about fucking a minute and a half to try and get her to stand up here for you guys. So I'm just going to grab her again. And it'll probably take me another 10 minutes to get her back on her feet afterwards. Okay. So we'll start here with the head articulation. None. You cannot move her head right or left. Her hair is too in the way. And that's a problem with a lot of these female characters. They need to have like some kind of softer rubber for the hair or something because they can't it doesn't move up or down nope so you can't move right left or up or down really getting sick of the shitty articulation on marvel legends especially when they're getting more expensive um shoulder okay no bicep swivel no elbows forwards and backwards, which is nice. There is also a swivel on it, which there was not on Sharon Carter, which is nice. I don't know why they just didn't give her fucking these arms. There's no difference between the two of them, other than Sharon Carter looks like she has a fucking stub. Um, the hands do rotate. They do bend upwards, swivel, pivot, rotate, all that. These things come out of her hand pretty easily. She's expecting to hold something bigger. <laughs> this arm is the same. Um, she does have ab crunch back and forward, which Sharon did not have. See, I feel like if they took Mockingbird figure and Sharon Carter together and put it together, you'd have a good figure. But they, like, took things from each of them and, like, separated them. It's fucking weird. Um, the legs, solid, regular female legs. Um, new sculpt at the bottom here, I believe, though, with the little belts and, and, and knee pads, which is kind of neat. Um, she does have ankle pivot, but she does not have swivel on the leg. She has swivel on the upper leg, but not the bottom part of the leg. So that is the articulation for Mockingbird. Um, not bad. I mean, it's not great. The arm articulation is is really shitty in the head. The fact that you can't move her head at all. Um, the head wouldn't be so bad if she had slightly better um, torso, but she can only move like this to the side or to the side here. So she's always looking forward, which is kind of weird. Um, she she could never like block and look up or anything. But what are you gonna do? We'll get to a quick size comparison in a second. Here we go. And here's the build a figure that Mockingbird comes with. She comes with the torso of the red onslaught figure. Cheap looking paint, but a solid looking sculpt. So there's, it's weird because there's certain spots where there's like detail and like shading, and then there's certain spots where there's not. And she also comes with the two shoulder pads that you want to clip onto it. I guess I have to clip both of them on. There you go. They're on. <laughs> and that is the torso piece. As you remember, if you watched my last video as well, I currently don't have my Scarlet Spider. He's on my ceiling right now. I'm not getting him off, so I'm using Logan as a substitute here. They're relatively the same size. And in this case, they're relatively the same size. Again, Mockingbird, I don't know if this is a new trend or, or what, but the female characters are getting much, much taller. Um, she's same size as... Sharon Carter here as well. 
And there she is in comparison to one of the smaller female figures, which is like a good almost head length uh, or half a head length smaller, which is which, which was the going size for female characters, but it seems like they've upped the ante. Um, I don't know why that is. Um, maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe uh, Sharon Carter and Mockingbird are, are actually tall. I don't really know. Uh, maybe it's an effort to put more detail into the female figures because I must say they do look more detailed than they used to. Um, however, there's less articulation, so it's it's always a trade-off. So you have to decide um, what you're all about and what you like. But make sure if you like this video to hit the subscribe button, share it, all that jazz, and check out our other videos in the sides here somewhere. And if you like Mockingbird, let me know. I mean, I might be wrong. You might be awesome. Let me know about that canary thing too. Take care.